They mysteriously return without aging a day and without a single memory of where they've been. Well, Joel Gresh play, plays the Homeland Security investigator Tom Baldwin, and Patrick Fluger plays Sean Farrell, one of the 4,400 returnees. Good morning to both morning. of you. Good morning. When this opened up last season, it opened up to these huge, huge numbers on cable. Cable doesn't get these kind of numbers. What, more than 7 million viewers? What, you had four parts of the series or something like that? It was five. So, five, something like the that? The first episode was two, two hours, hours, so yeah. it was basically two episodes. So it was essentially six. Six. The was, numbers were good. The, the, the critics loved it. I mean, what, what explains that phenomenon? Was it just simply the storytelling and interest in, in science fiction? What do you think it well, was? Well, I think it's great human drama. It's, it's great storytelling. You know, when we first read the script, you know, it, it, it's, as an actor, you never know how it's going to land. You don't know if it's going to do well or not. But if, if you are attracted to it and you like what you're reading and you put your heart to it, it, it kind of fell into place. Because really what it's about is, is the, the human drama when people come in, when, these, when people are having to face the mystery of all of this. It's about the human drama of how people interact, how, for example, <laughs> your character as Homeland Security guy, trying to understand all of this, how your character is dealing with you know, the emotions of all of this. In other words, yes. you're shocked by this. Absolutely. But at my character at the beginning, uh, my son is in a coma. So I mean, here's this, this, this comet is flying towards, towards <laughs> Fiction drama right here. <laughs> but, so yeah, the, the comet is flying at, at Earth, and you know, it looks like it's going to be the destruction of, of mankind, or and we're all going to die. My son's in a coma, so I mean, the, the dilemma of that for my character was, okay, we're all going to die, but my son, I got to take right. care of my son. Right. And then this, you know, amazing thing happens in 4,400. You know, people come out of a ball of light they've been missing through decades. And, and, and Patrick, you're one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, your you, character is one of them. And in fact, the odd thing is that your character is your character's nephew. Exactly, is that right? Yeah, indeed. And, and your character last season, I understand, had was really struggling with yeah, trying to know, understand. Did, I don't think this, he really felt like he fit in anywhere. You know, it was pretty much everywhere he turned, he kind of got, you know, strange looks, and he didn't get the best homecoming welcome thank you very much tom baldwin okay sorry but uh <laughs> but uh Obviously, yeah i mean he, he, just, he hasn't let it go yet <laughs> but uh you know he pretty much only felt felt good when he was with this girl nikki his neighbor who he you know fell in love with and blah 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 but this season oh, something else happens he, he some life. because so when they some of these returnees when they come back they have powers is yeah that right? yeah some of them are showing you know they, they've developed powers or abilities abilities well, not understand what yeah. it is we're yeah. trying to accomplish uh, here. and um and but this year he's in a much better place he, he goes and he stays at uh stays with this guy jordan collier who's also a 4400 he's a very powerful man in the universe of the 4400 and uh he goes and he stays with him and this ability, he has this healing ability. He can heal people or he can oh. you know, suck the life substance out of them. It's, it's kind of like, you know. Good and bad, yin yeah, yang, it's, right. Yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty bad. Um, but, <laughs> okay, I lost my train. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, you have another sip of that coffee. But what I think, what I think that um, bottom line is that what it, I think what this tells us though is that uh, people love not only this human drama that yeah. you talk about, the science fiction of this, but they love a mystery. And that's what, what is unfolding in this, as you, right? Well, it's a mystery and also there's, it's, not that big of a stretch right now. I mean, what we found at the end of the last season is it's not aliens that abducted all these people, it's people from the future and mm. sent them back saying that in the future we're in dire straits and you need to like take care of things now. Humanity is going Humanity to be extinct. Die. So, you know, with, you know, with technology, who knows? You know, maybe in the future some, they'll be able to do that in the way we treat the world and our, the oceans and, and our pollution that, you know, there might be, you know, our future might be in some trouble in the future. Well, it sounds like so you two got hooked into a really good yeah, story, a really good it's script. In fact, it sounds like as you do it, you don't know what's going to happen. No idea. Next. We were on the plane flying out here and I had the script of the next episode. I'm like running down the aisle to him like, this is so good. <laughs> and as an actor, that's great. You know, it's great storytelling. Right, because then you don't have to work so hard exactly. to make it good. We just stand and All right, well, Joel and Patrick. <laughs> Pleasure to talk to you both. Uh, How's the coffee? Is we, it working we need to, for you? We need to say Scott Peters' name, the creator okay. of the creator show. Of the show. Scott Peters. Scott Peters. He'll love that. <laughs> I think you the coffee's some great, by the way. <laughs> okay. exactly. And you can catch the season premiere of the 4400. Thank you for that. You. This Sunday night at nine, eight Central Time on the USA Network. And